So here we have a drinks manufacturer who's decided to reduce the sugar content of one of his drinks. 8% per year over three years. Now let's think about the drink. And this is the sugar content of the drink. So 8% disappears. So he gets rid of 8%. In other words, he's left 92% of the sugar content in the drink. Now to find 92% of something, you multiply it by 92 hundreds, that's what percent means out of 100, 92 out of 100, that's 0 0.92. So there's a multiplication factor of 0 0.92. Let's have a look at this, where we have 35 grams, and we find 92% of that, multiply by 92 hundredths, take 92% of that. Now, this is for the first year. So we've, dis we've found in one step, we've found how much sugar remains of that 35 grams. This whole thing is 35 grams. We've discovered this bit, the bit that remains. We haven't found 8% and taken it away. We've found 92%. It's a much neater way than finding 8% and subtracting it. So after one year, 35 times 0 0.92, that'll be what's left of the sugar. And then for the second year, 92% of that remains again. He takes another 8% away, so 92% of whatever this is uh, remains. So we multiply by 0 0.92 again, find 92% of this remaining sugar, and that's what happens for the second year. And whatever sugar remains now, in the third year, 92% of that will remain. You remove 8%, so 92% of it remains. So that's what's happening in the third year. So this is the calculation that we have to do. We take 35 and multiply it by 0 0.92 times 0 0.92 times 0 0.92. Well, that's 0 0.92 cubed. That's the short calculation that we'll do. Now, we're in paper 2. We get the calculator on the go for that. So, 35 times 0 0.92 raised to the power of 3. And what does that come to? comes to 27 point two five four zero and so on. So what's that? That's approximately twenty seven point now chopping a five off, I'm going to take it to three figures, two seven two. Chopping the five off, the two will be raised to a three. It's closer to twenty seven point three than it is to twenty seven point two. So it's 27.3 grams, and we've vandalised that number. We'd better be honest about what we've done. We've uh, approximated it to three significant figures, or one decimal place. So it's three significant figures. Actually, it doesn't tell you how accurate to be, so, so long as you've done some accurate rounding, then they'll be quite happy with that. So there it is, 27.3 grams after three years.